never thought I'd say this. I'm sure that all my viewers would never think this either or, or believe it, but I'm in Oregon, about to do a paddle trip. Oregon County, that is. <laughs> I got you, didn't I? I'm at the, well, I'm at Greer Crossing Campground in Oregon County, in Missouri, in the Ozarks. Hey y'all, Dan with the Southern Paddler Channel here. I'm at Greer Crossing Campground on the 11 Point River. And I'm waiting on my buddy Grant from Ozark Media Company. Grant and I got connected maybe a little over a year ago on uh, YouTube and uh, in Instagram. And uh, he makes some kayak camping videos. And he does some real high quality, great stuff. And uh, man, from one of the first videos that I saw of his, you know, I was messaging him and said, man, this is, this is great stuff. You know, kind of Gatewood Brown-esque kind of stuff. And so anyway, we got to talking over, over the past year or so. And back in spring, he said, man, why don't you come up to Missouri this fall and we'll do, uh, do one of these Ozark rivers. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I'll go to the Ozarks anytime. Because as you know, I've done in the Ozarks, the current river, the Jacks Fork River, and then uh, Buffalo National River in Arkansas. And, uh, and so he said, yeah, we'll hit another one. I'm like, man, that's great. And it's, uh, you know, one of the rivers that I've heard probably most suggested from the comments on my other videos in the Ozarks, the, the most suggested river after the ones I've done is the 11 Point River. And that's where we're at today. Um, I think Grant had maybe picked out a couple other rivers he, he wanted to do, wanted to show me. But, uh, you know, Missouri, like Alabama, has been really dry this summer and all the water levels are low. And so uh, I think he really didn't have any choice but to just go with 11 point on this one, which is fine with me because it's one I wanted to do, but any of them would have been great. So anyway, we're gonna camp here at Greer Crossing tonight, and then we're gonna spend the next three days and three nights uh, paddling and camping the 11 point river. And I'm excited, I'm ready to go. But today is Monday, October 7th. We're just gonna meet up here today, camp in the campground, and then we'll start our trip tomorrow. And uh, but I'll check back in once we kind of get camp set up and uh, get connected with Grant and his family. So uh, we'll check back in a little bit. Even though we camped here last night, we're going to call this day one of our trip. That was my tent there. There's Henry's on the left. And Grant, Alea, and Max are in the tent on the right. 
So it's morning time, and we're fixing our coffee and enjoying a little fire and just taking our time. We only had 30 miles that we were going to cover this whole trip. So over three days, that was plenty of time to make that mileage. We knew we was going to do some fishing and stop and see some springs and mills. So I really enjoyed having this relaxed schedule. So let's get started. Day one of the 11 Point River. <laughs> I mean, you're definitely in balance. Oh, I thought he was just saying, how do I look? <laughs> <laughs> I know he's that if I scoot forward, I can either sit on the front edge of my seat or if I need to kneel in this open space, uh -huh. 
and that puts my w more weight in the middle, and I don't drag my stern as much. Well, oh, damn, if you keep telling jokes like that, you might be a famous comedian one day. <laughs> and I can look at your boat and say there's a star aboard. Board, oh, wow. Oh, oh man, he's famous. <laughs> Mm. That was a reach. I tried. It was, yeah. <laughs> I tried. All I can say is, oh boy, that was bad. Oh man. <laughs> Here we go. Man, that right there is just. Is the camera on right now? That is beautiful. Great. Yeah. That's classic Ozarks right there, isn't it? Are, are you noticing yeah, now there are all the gravel bars like the other rest of Ozarks seen the gravel waves? That's I have, and one of the fishermen I was talking to at the ramp said the same thing. He's like, he said, this river's different. He said, there's not a lot of gravel bars and stuff like the others. And it was a nice little sandy beach there, though. Yeah, that would have been fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Henry. Come on through, lady.
harvest it and do what with it? Harvest it with the tractor? How are we going to get the... Surprised to hear that because their editing is like that. But they do have great editing. Very yeah, great stuff. The, the, so I, what I've noticed about them is, from a technical perspective, they're the best editors mm. doing this. I mean, they're way better than they are. Way. Really good. Yeah. As far as technical is concerned, the yeah. color grading, the uh, everything. <laughs> That's wild. Are you put Max? You end in the party barge. Party barge. Get him yeah, back. He just he just Get pushed me off. Look at how sad Dan looks. Get him back. <laughs> what is happening? I thought we were friends. Stick your paddle on so we can grab you. What? Yep. Hand me your paddle. Oh. Here. Okay, that'll get me closer and then Max. Okay, pull me in, Max. Pull him in. Pull. Oh, we gotta see oh there the we go. Okay, we're friends again. <laughs> Woo! Man, I was I was hurt there for a second. Crushed even. <laughs> it's alright. We're good. And fish bump. Yeah, I think Boom, we, I right think we contact. And it's beautiful, Grant. Yes, sir. Good stuff. <laughs> you almost see it. Oh boy. So yeah. close. Woo! At around 12.30 on this day, we reached Turner Spring. We got out and made a short walk up the branch to see the old Turner Mill. This mill started operating around 1850, originally with a wooden overshot wheel, but you can see here, it was later replaced with a steel overshot wheel that still remains in the branch today. Turner Spring averages around 1.5 million gallons daily, and this was a really cool site to explore. Just a beautiful area. A little bit later we'll walk on upstream and you can see where the spring comes out of the bluff. This was such a beautiful area and it was really cool to get out and explore around this old mill and spring. <laughs> well, even though we'd only been on the water about two and a half hours, it was midday, and so you got to eat. Plus, with that little hike up to the spring, we were kind of hungry. So we're going to get us a little lunch here, and then we're going to get back on this beautiful 11 Point National Scenic River.
Well, at 4.30, we found this beautiful camp spot on the river, and it has an amazing view. So we set up here for the evening. We spent about six and a half hours on the water, covered 6.6 .6 miles. So we knew that we was going to have a relaxed pace the whole trip. But we did spend some time at Turner Mill and Grant and Henry fished along the way. So this was all part of the plan, just to take it nice and easy. So we're getting set up here at camp, and tonight Alea is fixing venison chili and let me tell no, you no, it was amazing it. matter of fact it was so good after my second bowl and kicking back in that chair around that campfire i was so content and full i didn't even think about recording anymore so <laughs> these are the last shots for our night uh, here at this camp so i hope you enjoy but join us next time because we have two more days to go on the 11 point river thanks for watching